Over on the Ford display, we have the Focus RS, and we have a GKN, which is a supplier, a rear drive unit, or RDU, out of the Focus RS. And this is actually where all the magic happens, and the technology that really separates this Focus RS from the other hot hatches. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, I can give you guys an idea of what's going on with it. So this is located in the rear of the vehicle, and what it does is it appropriates the torque between the front and the rear axle, and also splits the torque between the left and right rear wheel. So, on a typical rear axle or rear differential unit, you're gonna see some spider gears in here, which are gonna separate the left and the right wheel to move the torque between the left and right wheel and allow for a, a wheel speed differential when the car goes around a corner. This car doesn't have that, actually. If you look in here close, you'll see just a solid shaft. That means the left and the right side are actually locked. Um, normally, that wouldn't work too well on a dry surface where the wheels have to roll at different speeds around corners. So, what you have is two wet clutches here that are electronically controlled on the left and right side. So these two clutches can distribute the torque between the left and the right wheels by controlling how much lockup and how much slip they have. Great, what about torque front and rear? Well, what's unique about the Focus RS is that it can send more than 50% of the torque to the rear wheels. And this is done by actually having different numerical gear ratios between the front and the rear axle. What does that mean? Usually on an all-wheel drive vehicle, the front axle and the rear axle, they have the same gear ratios, meaning that if the car was lifted in the air, the wheels would spin at the same rate. On the Focus RS, to give it that rear torque biasing, the differential ratio on the rear axle is actually different or spins slightly faster than the front. Uh, I believe this is actually accomplished in the transaxle on the front, so power is sent to the back and the rear wheels, when these clutches are locked up, send more or spin slightly faster than the front wheels. Well, as you can imagine, this is not going to work all that great on dry pavement, so these clutches have to slip to take, care, take up some of that speed differential. And the amount of torque that gets sent to that rear axle is dependent on the lockup of these two clutches.